Hey everyone, my name is Taj. I'm an instructor at Middle Tennessee State University. I'm also an avionics technician. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do here today is I'm gonna demonstrate for you this IFR 4000 NAVCOM test set. But first, we all know that 91171 outlines the regulations for how VOR checks are done. What it doesn't mention is how maintenance does their tests. So I'm gonna show you and demonstrate for you how maintenance does it and, and what it looks like when they do actually do it. So I've got this test set here in front of me. <clears throat> I've got it set to VOR mode. I've got the airplane turned on. I've got it set to the frequency of 108.0. I'm gonna come up here and change the frequency to 108.0. So that's, got, that's there, up there in the active. I've got a radio here set for zero degrees. So if I center this out, I should get a reading of 360 degrees plus or minus four. <clears throat> I can change the radials if I go to bearing I can change it to let's say a 60 degree uh, radial we can see if the aircraft will see that 060 radial and line up perfectly with it I can also simulate a failure of a VOR to see if the aircraft is going to react the way it's supposed to so if I fail let's say the reference phase we can see that it, it dropped off the free it dropped off the signal there I can bring it back there's our VOR coming back and I can also fail the variable phase, and again, away goes our CDI. I can do several modes with this, along with VOR, I can do even a localizer. So again, frequency set to 108.1, change that to 108.1, and we'll see the aircraft tune in. I can change the localizer dot. So on the G1000, every dot is a five degree uh, radial. So if I go to deviation step, and I change my localizer, I can go one dot left, so that's five degrees left. I can go two dots left, two dots left for 10 degrees. I can go full deflection for 12 degrees to simulate that. I can bring it back to center. It's gonna come back to center. I can simulate one dot to the right. And it goes one dot to the right, roughly. Two dots to the right and Full deflection again 12 degrees I'll bring it back to the center and just like I did with the VOR I'm going to fail the localizer and see if the aircraft responds the way we expect it to so I can fail the 90 Hertz frequency phase I'll bring it back and the 150 Hertz frequency phase you can see that again I've lost my CDI the avionics is telling me hey I don't see a localizer anymore and back, there's our CDI. We can also simulate glide slopes. So if I change my frequency to 110.15, 110.15, we'll see, there's our glide slope. <clears throat> I can move the glide slopes up and down, one dot up, two dots up, all the way up to full deflection. We'll bring it back down to the center one dot down, two dots down, and full deflection. Bring it back to the center. And just like I did with the localizer, I can also fail the glide slope to make sure that the aircraft will respond the way it's supposed to. So if I fail the 90 hertz phase, there it goes, no glide slope. Bring it back, we have glide slope again. And I fail the 150 hertz, away it goes. We can also test marker beacon with this test set. If I go to tone, I can simulate an out, out blue signal. There's our outer flashing blue, the middle amber, we're flashing middle amber here, and the inner white. Thanks for watching, hope you guys learned something new. Have a good one.